Today in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you all you need to know about HDR workflow. There are several different ways to work with HDR clips in Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna do my best to cover all of the bases. The first way is if you want your entire timeline to be an HDR project. Go ahead and select your library, then go to the far right hand side, looking in your inspector and select modify. In the modify settings, you can change it from standard over to wide gamut HDR and push change. Selecting your project, go back over to modify and change it from standard Rec 709 to one of the following wide gamut HDR settings. I'm gonna choose wide gamut HDR Rec 2020 HLG because that is the actual color space that iPhones work in and we're gonna go ahead and push okay. So now if I drag this clip down to the timeline, you'll see that the clip looks totally fine in its regular HDR color space. The problem is, is if you wanna apply any SDR clips to this timeline, it's going to make it very dark and so you're gonna have some headache there. That is what brings in the next workflow for HDR, which is probably gonna be more common, and that is bringing HDR clips into an SDR timeline. When you apply an HDR clip to an SDR timeline, it will look something like this. You'll drag it down. Final Cut Pro will give you this dialogue saying, hey, this is HDR and SDR. Go ahead and push OK. Push Shift Z so we can zoom in on here. Now from there, you will go on over into your effects and you will look up HDR tools and drag that onto your clip. Now it's already starting to do something, but it still doesn't look quite right. To get it to look correct, we can go up into our mode settings and change it over to HLG to Rec 709 SDR. Now, how do I know that that's the one I need to use? If I select the clip in my media browser, I can go on over into my info inspector and looking right here, we can see it is a Rec 2020 HLG clip. So we'll go ahead and leave that applied as it is. Now you can work with this clip exactly how you normally would. You can apply your color grades, whatever you need to do. But there is a problem with this. Let's say that we want to drag down some clips from that same shot at a different time. Bring it down. It's gonna again say, hey, this is HDR to SDR. But you'll see that it doesn't have those effects applied to it. So we can go Command C, Command Shift V to paste those attributes and have it looking the same. But that can be really annoying, especially if you take a lot of clips from a single clip in your media browser. That is where this next workflow is going to come into play. And that is using the open clip in your media browser. What you can do is select any clip that is up in your media browser, go to the top of your screen to clip and find open clip. Now I actually use open clip so much that I set it to a custom keyboard shortcut for control, option, and O. So now you can see it actually creates this breakout timeline that has just that clip in it. And any changes that we apply to this clip in this timeline is going to apply to it in the original media browser. So what we can do is look up our HDR tools again, drag that on, change it over to HLG to Rec 709 SDR. Now it's gonna look crazy and dark because this timeline is actually an HDR timeline. However, if we are to back out of that clip and now drag these clips onto our main timeline, you'll see that this clip, despite not having any effects applied to it in the main timeline, is actually correctly formatted to the SDR experience. So what you can do is go into each clip and again, I would recommend setting up a shortcut, Control Option O, dragging in your HDR tools, setting that to HLG Direct 709. Push Command C, go to the next clip, Command Shift V, paste those attributes, and just do that for each individual clip in your media browser. Then when you bring those out into the main timeline, they won't be a problem. There is one more workflow that you might want to try if you don't wanna try jumping into each individual clip, and that is by using adjustment layers. There are a million free different adjustment layers. I will have a link down in the description so you can go download one. It'll be installed into your titles. We'll just drag in this adjustment layer right here. And what I'm going to do is apply the HDR tools to that adjustment layer set it to HLG. Any clips that are underneath this adjustment layer are going to receive that HDR treatment. So this is certainly an option if you don't wanna go through the hassle of open clipping everything in your media browser, 
or if you don't want to actually work in an HDR color space on your timeline. So hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you might also really be interested in this video about creating an advanced clone that punches you in the face. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.